Hey, you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Stellaris. It's been a while since we've looked at this. In fact, I think the last time I played was on patch 1.1, but this is the press preview build for patch 1.3, including the Leviathan DLC. Because there's a preview build, the actual full patch notes are not out yet, so I don't know entirely what to expect. Plus, since I haven't played patch 1.2, there's probably going to be a lot of things in here I'm not familiar with. Looking forward to see the big Leviathan story stuff that's going to come out. The idea is I believe it's going to try to enrich a bit of the mid-game, which has been historically a bit of a lull in Stellaris. I still think there's nothing that beats the early game of Stellaris. The exploration is just done so fantastically well. Um, but after that, you know, maybe things get a little bit sluggish, which is sort of a 4x problem altogether. I'm going to just tweak my existing civilizations so that they can show up, but they're not forced to show up. We'll keep it a little bit more varied. And what I want to do is actually, I want to hit a randomized empire. I don't want to go and min-max things or anything like that. I want to see what we get and just deal with it. I will go, I think, with just the medium star empire over here. We'll, uh, uh, maybe I will ramp up the number of AI empires a little bit, but not too much. So it won't be quite as much of a crowded universe, and it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Advanced Neighbors are on, Fallen Empires are on, normal difficulty everywhere across the board. I know, we could probably bring up the difficulty. Um, let's just put it hard. There we go. We'll do that. Not going to ramp up the aggression, but we will make it a little bit harder for us. Although I say that, and again, because I had a relatively easier time before, but now who knows. All right, we are the Talakur Sovereign Domains. Government is indirect democracy. Plus one leader skill level, cheaper recruitment costs. We do have an election every 10 years, that's fine. Our current ruler, well, we're going to take a look at uh, his or her traits in a moment. Our species are the Talakur. We have wormhole travel, which of course is potentially my favorite. Well, I don't know, I really like hyperspace as well, so that's going to be, it'll be interesting to see our ethics. We are industrialists, uh, which now means policy happiness impact is negative 20%, so people aren't bothered as much by policies. And we do attract more uh, immigrants, so actually if we can get some open borders and some immigration uh, laws with other empires, that could actually help buff our, um, our stuff a little bit. That's ethics, and we'd have to get people to follow that. Will that apply other people? I don't know. I guess so. Pop modifier, we do more energy. We have no slavery tolerance or less slavery tolerance. We're not going to go down the slaver route. And you know what? Since they add, add the slave factions, the slaves aren't quite as uh, much of a rollover. We are fanatic xenophiles. So diplomatic influence cost is reduced by 75%. And population xenophobia is reduced. So we will want a mixed race empire through some means. And the actually the individualist, did I say industrialist? I meant in individualist. Uh, over here. Sorry, my bad. Um, this is going to work out very well together. So people don't get bothered by other people quite as much. Well, they get more immigration. They're not bo bothered by foreigners. It's going to be great. We have an Arctic preference. That's fine. We are fleeting, so our leaders will die sooner, which might make it hard for us to keep high-skilled people around, which is unfortunate. We are un industrious. We get more minerals. And we are natural engineers, so we get more engineering output. Um over there, which I think applies to the actual science itself. It doesn't change the number up here, but changes when we actually apply the tech. I might be wrong about that. All right, well, let's go ahead and begin, and let's zoom out and get an idea as to where we are in this galaxy. So we're in the south, oops, southeast or southwest corner of the galaxy near the galactic center. So we might be a bit bottlenecked over here, but we've got some expansion room out this way towards the rim, which might be the way we focus. It'll really depend on what kind of neighborhood we've got going on here. We already know about an Arctic world over here. It's only size 12, though, which is unfortunate. Now, size 16 over here. I am so happy. I did take a peek around here. This expansion planner, which is currently empty because we actually haven't surveyed the planet yet. Although, I guess we could do that. There we go. Um, but what we can do is much more easily find exactly... Um, where we can colonize. There's a very easy button to send a colony ship if you've got one. Nothing to like queue up a colony ship built as far as I can find, but um, if you've got one, you can easily send the colonist ship to these planets, which I think is fantastic. So going to take a look at our research. We're going to, for our society research, I'm going to start with the New Worlds Protocol right away. Do like that. Um, what do we have over here? Uh, you live longer. That's good. We do have a uh, Sparker Genius over here with a 10% research speed bonus. We actually might swap these two around because I really want to get the colony ship ASAP. First thing we're going to build here. Mm, let's see. More reactors does help with ship design. I don't know if that's quite the same priority. Uh, power Hub 1. It is nice to get the Power Hub up and running. It's like a better power plant. I mean, it's planet unique, but it produces extra credits. Um, like three by itself, but also the 10% credit boost. And it is nice to start getting one per planet over here. On the other hand, the solar panel network, also a good way to offset your um, your 
um, your cost of your um, your space station. I think I'm actually going to grab global energy management. I think I'm going to be happy with that. And we can start filling those slots right away. Engineering wise, uh, I think for this, it's probably going to be okay. What is this? Robotic path. This technology will lead to further advancements in the field of robotics. I don't remember that being there before. Again, it might not be new in 1.3. It might be a 1.2 thing, but I didn't really play it. I think I'm going to grab this as early as possible for the 5% mineral boost. We do want the armor down here. That's actually going to be incredibly important for us. But um, we're going to hold off. I want to... Um, you used to set edicts sort of over here somewhere. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Contacts? No, it's only one tab now. Situation log. Technology. Uh, planets and sectors, no. Leaders, no. Factions, no, shouldn't be there. Oh, policies and edicts, there. They've got their own their own tab up there, which is actually really good. I want to focus on society research. So it's going to cost us some influence right now, but it does actually net us an extra 10% overall research and specifically focuses it on society. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap... Um, yeah, we're going to keep you there. I'm going to get the spark of genius person to research... Um, society. So we're really uh, piling on a lot of modifiers here, trying to get our colony ships done as quickly as possible. And we'll get someone to go ahead and research the physics over here. Oh, right. Yes. Society research grant. That's fine. Okay. We got that sorted out. What's next? Next is probably to get our science ship to scoot boot. Um, just go ahead and I guess that's already surveyed, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If I can go over here. Survey the entire system. Starting with that, that's going to be totally okay. Construction ships have nothing to construct right now. We do have our first armada over here. I'm going to make sure that it is on evasive stance right from the start. And for this, we really want to go and pop the systems, which really don't have any names. So what I like to do is just shift queue a bunch of these. Now, this shift queuing, I don't, I'm not going to do literally everything because it will pop if we hit an aggressive thing. If we're on evasive stance, it'll reset all those uh, queued up constructions, that's fine. And then finally with constructions, uh, do we want to do an edict list? No, we don't have enough influence for that right now, so that's going to be okay. Um, I don't think we're going to rush another ship quite yet, because we're going to mostly focus our construction ship building our little bases. But it's probably fine for us to build some sort of ground improvement over here. And I think I might actually start with a farm to keep our growth rate up a little bit higher on our capital planet. I think that will be handy. Or, ooh... Oh no, that's not uh, that's not minerals. That's research, because you have your mines over here. We're actually quite mineral poor on our home planet. It's a little disappointing. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get a hydroponics farm going up over there, and that's going to be okay. All right, rally points. Do 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 do. Construction ship do nothing yet until we get some stuff surveyed. I think we can go ahead and unpause at this point. So we're looking for alien life out there because we love aliens. We love aliens so much. If we have to conquer them. You know, we will do that, but then we will incorporate them gently into our empire. I think I'll go up to fast speed. That's going to be okay. So our fleet is going to use the wormhole travel. I'm so happy. I love wormhole tech. I think it's fantastic. So you're going to bop out somewhere, visit some new things. And if we do see some hostile stuff, we don't have to worry about pathing around it like we would with... Um, ooh, alpha aliens already. Look at that. Very exciting. Probably. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait, I think, until the New Worlds Protocol is done researching, and then we'll go through and do all the um, all the alien encounter things over here in the situation log. We would like to get the extra influence from completing those, but I think it's more important for our, um, our research to finish. So our science ship... Really, because you've already scouted here. Are we going to have, like, a really poor home system? This could be especially disappointing. Hmm. I mean, we must be guaranteed to have something. Uh, okay, that's research. That'll be nice later. But I'm not going to spend my resources early on doing that. First priority is going to be to probably get one or two mineral producing ones ASAP. And then we'll follow it up with energy because, of course, we, will, uh, we do have to pay for those structures. I like our symbol. Kind of looks like, I don't know, a golden flower or something. Come on! Do we really not have... There's, we've got to have minerals somewhere. All right, let's go to fastest speed here. Oh my god, we rolled the worst. Okay, that's the surface construction queue. I don't think I'm going to do another one. I'm going to save minerals. Well, for what? I don't know, actually. You know what? No. Um, 
God damn. This is rough. System survey complete and it's all researchable and that's it. All right, that is rough. We're going to go and um, this was a bigger system, right? 16. Tell anyway, you let's survey that. Uh, the construction ship could go out and like add some more warp conduits now, but that seems a little bit silly to do it this time. And that's within my borders, eh? Yeah, good. So I'll be able to build still structures. I could build one of the research ones. God damn. It's really miserable. Well, what I'm going to do then on this tile, even though it's going to lose the mineral or the uh, energy, I am going to build a mining network on this tile. We'll lose the energy, but we'll get a little bit more mine, uh, minerals, which is going to be really important early on. Hostile vessel, which we are evading. What was over here? Ooh, quite strong. Gas cloud or whatever. All right, so that'll reset our queue on our military fleet. So we're just going to go and queue up some more little visits over here. Okay, that'll be a good start. Science ship is science shipping over here. Come on, find me some minerals for my construction ship. Please. It'd be really handy. Uh, we should, do we survey the black hole early? First of all, it wouldn't surprise me if it's guarded by critters. I mean, it's within the sensor range, which is why we knew the name, but it, you know, it's really limited info. We still eventually need to visit all of these places properly. But yeah, the ones with no names are the more important things. Gamma aliens. Okay. 36 months. Yeah, I think, um, you know what? That's cut a few aliens now. And we can research them simultaneously, right? They've never changed that, I think. Yeah, I mean, it eats the cost. We're going to go ahead and do that. It will delay our New Worlds protocol, but maybe it's going to be fine. I mean, it's not like we can rush the colony ship that fast anyway, because it's a lot of minerals to build and a lot of money to maintain. Aha! Finally. Ooh, and that's four minerals from one mining station. That's very good. All right, doesn't quite make up for the fact that we didn't have any in our goddamn home system, but that'll do okay. All right, ship's still shipping. You're building that improvement there. Delta aliens. Uh, let's throw them in as well. Situation log. Oh, no, it does queue them one at a time now. Oh. All right. All right. Fair enough. Used to research them simultaneously. I can hit the button all at the same time now, but it does queue them up. So I won't queue up anymore after Delta. I'll let it finish um, because some of these might not truly be hostile. If we can get a little bit of info about them, it can really help with some of our exploration. So let's get our fleet to go bopping around out there again. System survey complete. Excellent. Uh, what do we have here? Size 24. Well, let's go ahead and survey that place then. That would be quite nice. Quite nice indeed. And also, it'd be a good place for us to build another warp place to go. I mean, I can build it um, anywhere. I can build another warp gate or wormhole gate anywhere I want. Um, Arctic 12, yeah. I was excited about the 22, but that's arid world, so that's no good. We have over here ocean world. All right. Well, we'll get there. And then, yeah, we do have the Arctic world over here, but it's only size 12. Prefer to hold out in the big ones. I guess one of the things is, well, we haven't surveyed it, so I can't get some information about it, but... Yeah, what's the surface like? Because it could be a very rich planet in the end. So we will queue that up. We've got some people moving around. It's probably the space amoebas that are just darting around. That's going to be perfectly fine. So there's some incentive to uh, to finishing those. But yeah, it does slow things down. And I'm not sure that our focus affects the rate. You know what? Can I just cancel these? Let me go ahead and do that. I don't think our focus affects the rate of, of researching this stuff. So I would actually be a little bit more comfortable if we went and did that. The Tianqi, right, they're just the space clouds, or space cows, so they're not actually hostile. So that should avoid some of our units running away instantly from spotting them, I believe. Although there's more hostile fleets over there, so you're done that. I don't want to set up the uh, research things yet. I'm going to go and send you over to the um, this new system we're scouting out, because it'll hopefully have something mineable. Oh no, you're going to be outside of my radius. Oh, that's... um. Like, not my warp radius, but I can only build stations within the green bits, unless I want to do a frontier outpost, which I don't particularly have interest in. I'm going to send you here, because we actually haven't technically visited the system. It might give us slightly different information. Just a little bit of a heads up. Oh, yeah, because I want to be able to mine these minerals, but it's outside of the green area. But at some point, we will colonize this planet. In fact, that is definitely going to be a priority. So I'm actually happy that we're back on focusing the, uh, the research on society over here. 
because I want to get my colony ship up and running ASAP. Well, I may as well go and do some more surface improvements over here because we don't have a whole heck of a lot going on. I think I'm going to clear the sprawling slums and we'll get an energy station over on that. Wouldn't hurt to get some more tech going either. I mean, it's expensive and we are losing some money right now. No, I'm going to clear this out, build another energy thingy on here, make sure we don't tank your economy, and then perhaps I'll build a research lab. Yeah, we'll see about that. The science ship is doing that. Construction ship completely idle. Man, what a what a terrible little start here. Um, so I think we've technically visited everything um, without a name. I'm just going to go and give a quick little visit to these just as like a bit of a token whatevers, and then I'll send it back home because we haven't actually technically sent a ship over there. Although I don't think it's going to change anything since it is within sensor range. Leader has gained a level. That's our anomaly discovery chance. Nice. Not that we've discovered any yet, which is a bit unfortunate. And yes, we're losing credits just barely. 0.03 loss per month. That's not too terrible. Uh, you've cleared that out. Excellent. I will get you to build a power plant over there. And yeah, you know what? I'll follow it up with a, um, a research lab over here. It's a fair number of minerals we're investing. And of course, a little bit more money as well. But we don't have that much else to do. And you know what? Uh, yeah, go ahead and do it now. But in hindsight... Well, no, I guess I was scouting this out for the planet, but I was going to say, in hindsight, really what I should have done is finish scouting all the systems within my green little radius here. Although this one does have alien vessels, apparently. I don't remember if these have been visited. Not been surveyed. But is there a difference between... Cause it's not going to be surveyed, but again, it hasn't been visited. And that's what I want to ensure. Okay. And yeah, you're just going to sit tight. We'll get that surveyed soon. Failure! Ah, <sighs> did we finish serving the system though? Yeah, we did. Good. So you're going to come, I guess come over here actually, survey that system, and move the construction fleet over there as well. It was 22% chance. I could have waited until we higher level, but I don't know. I guess I was greedy. I love this gas cloud here though. Looks very funky. Multiple layers going on. Very nice to look at. The San Sejanus Expanse. We'll expand into the gas cloud. Yeah, see, we haven't even checked these because there wasn't, you know, the pop-up of the little planets, but that's okay. It's not like we don't have a good expansion route over here. What's the uh, hotkey for this? Expansion Planner F9. Yeah. Um, sort by size, really. Oh, I guess, was it sorted by cost? It might have been sorting alphabetically first. But there's definitely, like, a distance cost involved. Still, I think it's okay to go and just rush that. The influence isn't too bad. I like sort by food, energy credits. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Man, I love this view. Sort by species, habitability, very, 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 very handy. Colonizable, right now nothing is because we don't have a new world protocol, but as soon as we do, we can start colonizing Arctic worlds. That's going to be fine. All right. Come on, baby. Have something good over here. Have something we can work. Where's the science ship? The science sheep. Let's just uh, move you in this direction with the hope that there's going to be something over there and it'll cut down some more transportation time later on. Energy's still going down. Planet, you are... Oh, you did build that, but let me invert these guys over here. Although we could prioritize the society research. No, you know what? I think I'm okay with prioritizing the credits gain because we're actually going to use quite a few credits um, when we build a colony ship finally, so having a bit of a bank wouldn't hurt. Although we are slowing down our society research by not having... Yeah, I don't know. Growth. Maybe we'll at least wait until there's the building here, and then maybe we'll do another swappy do. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, minerals still good. It's more science. I mean, there's lots of science kicking around. Do I want to build this one up? All right, go ahead. Build me this research station. Especially since it's society research. Actually, even the engineering. That was going to give us something. Oh, yeah, the mineral gain right now. Yeah. I don't know, I guess it's fine, although I'm a little leery about spending minerals and um, gold on that right now. Okay, I'm going to queue up a mining station over here afterwards. We do have to bank, it's a little over 300, isn't it, I think, to build a, um, a colony ship? Something like that. Is this going to cause starvation? Nope, still got positive food this way. Excellent, okay. Let's work a little bit of tech, that's going to be okay. Science ship. Thank you very much for completing that. I'll get you to survey this next. And then I'm going to queue up a survey over there. 
So that'll finish everything surveyable within our initial realm. Construction ship, you are finishing a little bit of tech gain. So you're increasing our society output, and we're getting, you know, plus 44% multiplier to that right now, which means we are pumping out this colony ship quite quickly. So I will halt my mineral expense for a little while. We actually just um, improve... Uh, Okay, no, you finish that, you're going to do that, but we've already paid for that, so that's going to be okay. Although, that is the colonizable world, and I don't remember if you get to keep your uh, your thingy. But we're not going to rush this one. It's a very small, lots of really annoying blockers, actually. Now, this is not a terrible place for us to land, I guess, in a sense. But yeah, you know what, I'm okay with just getting the mineral boost at this time. That's going to be fine. So very soon we'll be able to build our colony ship. Which does mean I think you'll get the birth of space piracy shortly after that, right? So we'll almost certainly need to build some ships after the colony ship. And we should have the materials to do that. And we will be losing money for a little while. Because the colony ship will cost us, what, eight? At least it did previously when I played it. I don't know if that's still true anymore. We'll find out. Come on, there we go. And what I'll probably do is um, remove my edict to focus on this. Just to save up the influence points. Because we might need to build, um, you know, um, one of those frontier outposts. Ooh, frequency tuning. Oh, we got a little bit of progress towards it, so it's going to stick around. Energy siphoning. Does bonus shield damage. Border range. I think we can live without the border range right now. Well, I don't know. Actually, the sooner you get it, it's kind of handy. And this might do more damage than our base thing. Not that we're going to face shields quite yet. You know what? I'm going to grab Galactic Ambitions early on. I think that's quite good. And policies, we're going to go and remove that at this point. That's going to be okay. Construction ship is idle. Uh, Homeworld, you are going to spaceport us a colony ship for 345 minerals. And communications were established. Received the communication. We got a little bit of influence. Oh my god, they're adorable! Adorable starship! Or, uh, uh, um, Star... What do you call them? Sea stars, no. Starfish! That's what I was going to say. Starship, starfish. Close enough. Spiritualist, fanatic individualists. Ah! We wish for nothing but to be friends. Absolutely. freaking lutely It's a momentous occasion. We're super happy because we are xenophiles. Excellent. Very, very good. Um, contacts. Is there anything we can do with them right now? I mean, you get open borders automatically. Close borders, guarantee independence, offer trade deal. You want to share star charts? You need a little bit of enrichment. This is us. There you go. Let's share some star charts. I'll give you 11 credits. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Getting a good amount of information. We are very close to one another, which means we have to either be really good friends or other. Building, okay, building colony ship. We're going to have to build up our armada to take care of the pirates relatively soon. Science ship doing that. What do I want to do <clears throat> with my construction ship? I don't think I can afford to build more of the science stations right now, both in terms of energy credits as well as needing to save minerals for the inevitable pirates that are about to pop. So I think I'm just going to sit on my hands here. That's going to be okay. I guess I can move you to the Tarzed system. Because when we do get our calling ship, we're going to expand to there. And I'll be able to actually mine the minerals. And that'll be quite handy. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got some good... Wow, there's a lot going on in this system. You got some much better stuff near your place than me. Um, my science ship, after you've done this, we're going to prioritize getting some scouts... Well, I guess this one's within my borders, so I should definitely do that. Um, but then we're going to scout towards this person. What kind of planet is your homeworld? Uh, no, I want to click on your system. Your homeworld is continental. Okay, so we're not going to get as much competition for our planet types, which is nice to see. What is this? That's Tundra World. That's Tundra as well. That's a big Tundra World. And we're Arctic, right? So we should actually be able to do a decent job there once we get the tech. We're going to research this. 15% chance to fail. How, you know... How bad could it be? Colony ships coming out there. You've got that. Oh, did I... Um, I want to start researching these other aliens, actually. Please and thank you. I suspect the other two are going to be space monsters rather than an actual alien race. We did meet one alien race. 
threat. You're parked there, which is fine. I mean, we might find something in these systems that we can improve, but we'll wait on that. Let's go up the fastest speed for a little while. I'm going to try to get this colonized before the end of the video, which should be pretty quick. Oh, discovered artifacts for the Cybrex. So that's going to be our precursor event, the Cybrex. Now, I've never gone to like the far, far late game here, so it'll be interesting to see exactly how that goes. Colony ship nearly done. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we're losing some money, which is fine. Uh, research. Oh, bonus minerals. Excellent. Um, do I want to go directly up towards the Corvette construction yards? It is like one of those things you absolutely need to go in this direction yeah, for more ships. We could unlock our rank 2 missiles, though. Gives us a big boost to our fighting capability and might actually come into play for the pirates. It might not. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's going to be okay. Yes, we're losing some money. It should be fine. Um... I do need to build some anti-pirate fleet, but I think I'm going to clear this because we do need a place to put that new energy building once we finish. Uh, my construction ship, actually, I will get you to build a mining station here for some energy, which is going to be fine. And we can go to our expansion planner. So again, I'm going to, I'm going to want to colonize this planet over here and click here, click on a surface tile. Um, if I recall correctly, the base tile itself will produce food and minerals. So ideally you sort of put it on one of those and then adjacent to things that produce food, minerals, and I think energy <clears throat> for the ev eventual, um, synergistic bonus. <clears throat> I think landing here is going to be good because again, I think it's going to give bonus energy over here from adjacency. Um, and the mineral here will not be lost early on. It'll sort of be inactivated, but not that bad. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Tarzad Prime, that sounds fine. So that should send the colony ship over there. Okay, I think I'm quite pleased with that. So we do have some money in the bank for this, not tons. Uh, we are about to build another energy thing here and on our home world. So I think, I think we'll be okay. Although I'm not entirely pleased by that. I don't know if there's an edict we can pass for just more money. No, there might be. We have a lot of influence. There might be something on the planet though. Not yet. Oh, legal aliens. Alien migration attraction as opposed to land of opportunity, which is just migration. Does migration attraction work for absolutely everyone, not just my own species? And I mean, clearly this is for only for aliens specifically. Now, does that include aliens that already live within my borders? I don't know. Or is it only aliens that belong to another empire? Because there's a bit of a difference there. Not sure. Maybe we'll uh, we'll go and check that out. Thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoy uh, going back to Stellaris for a little while. Really excited. Excited that there's some more content. Looking forward to seeing what those events turn out to be. Should be a blast. See you next time, folks.